Hey everybody, Justin with Lucky 8 Off-Road. Hello, Justin with Lucky 8 Off-Road. Hey everybody, Justin with Lucky 8 Off-Road. Hello everybody. Hello, Justin with Lucky 8 Off-Road. Hey everybody, Justin with Lucky 8 Off-Road. Real lucky and I did use pretty please. I might be able to drive that new Range. hanger which is a 21 12 point socket get that out of the way fight with this little torque wow there you have it zach work just took us off today took him about four hours to get the old kit out and the new suspension in we're going to get this ready for an event and uh hopefully you'll get to see it in person somewhere i'm trying to do the job maybe if i had some help Woo! the tea was delicious by the way Welcome back to Project 69. Uh, the next thing we need to do is replace the great reservoir. Hello and welcome to On The Desk. And uh, it's always good to have a fire extinguisher. Basically 2.30 in the morning, Bill stuck. I'll be winching if you need me. It's 11 degrees out, I'm in the middle of Maine, and it's February. That can only mean one thing. Winter rum. Winter rum. You're not making it up the ice wall this year. The Defender's gonna go up the ice wall, <laughs> like no problem. I bet you I end up pulling your winch line. I see. I mean, he was on his rock slider here, bumper hit. Here we are at the major obstacle. You can see in front of that, there's a big old size rock face that's gonna to try to rip the guts out of the underside of this truck. I'm going to have to use every bit of Factor 55 that I have and all the treads I can source. Wish me luck, because I need it. Good, good. I see. I've got two choices, right? I can, I can back up all the way. hit me with the splash gun so I cool down. Won't you come on over? We can party till the sun's down. Baby, let me buy you a drink while we're dancing to blink. I could go for some Queen B2. Bass is going boom, boom. Middle of nowhere, Maine, surrounded by amazing rover people. There's no place. I'd rather be, unless there's twins involved. Treads under there, hopefully that lets him get out. If not, we're gonna have to use the winch. It's getting cold. Try it again, this time like you mean it. 
He's way more stuck now. Way more stuck. All right, Eric. I think we're gonna do the win. I'm heading to the bar. We're gonna hit it hard tomorrow. Baby, if you're looking for some crazy, I'll tell you everybody's standing out of line for the water slide. What a slide. Hey everybody, Justin with Lucky 8 Off-Road and I got a special one for you guys today. Did you know that Land Rover gives you a free driving experience? You can use it at one of their experience centers and today I'm going to check that out. I'm here at Biltmore. I've got Project 130, but they'll also let you use some of their own vehicles. Hop in, get ready, it's going to be a fun one. And if we're really, really lucky, we can go to the secret garage at the end. checked in, filled out the waivers, and now we're at the trailhead. I'm here with Alistair, one of the trail guides. Alistair, tell us what we're gonna see today. How's it going? Yeah, we got lots of different terrain up here, or down here rather, compared to Vermont where I saw you last. So the clay in the soil here is pretty slick. You know, we got some pretty decent side stuff. East side, it is called the skate park. There is nothing but miles of smiles back here. I could spend a whole week easily just playing with these obstacles. They have designed an amazing course, and I'm told that the course constantly changes due to the weather, so it's always something exciting and special. So if you've been here before, you might want to come back and check it out. Awesome, awesome trails. Now, if I'm a real good boy and act quick, we're going to take this new 23 full fat. I can't wait to see how it compares to the Defender. Hop in. me up with the new full size got to play with the 130 see an amazing amount of trails and it's the memories coming back to me I'm, I'm gonna get emotional in this garage I remember working on the first trek here and just I'm still awe-inspired by all the history and all the hard work that these Hello, live, well not live, it's actually gonna be a video, but I'm live at Mar Mid-Atlantic Rover Rally, put on by Rove, Rover's owner of Word, Virginia. Yeah, I know stuff.
everybody, Justin with Eric standing outside of Old Township, Pennsylvania. It's it beautiful. is a crisp 25 degrees and we are ready for the first ever X1 challenge at Rovers on the Rocks. So when you come into the facility, you'll see this big building. You come inside, you fill out this paperwork, get your permit, head out to the parking lot and meet up with the rest of the guys to go off onto the trails. If you don't want to do the event, over on that side of the park, it goes on and on and on. And then later tonight, we're going to be down to the tent doing our raffle. Anything good to raffle? A lot of good stuff. Brit Parts, All Makes, Terra Firma, uh, you name it, man. Everyone chipped in this year. Tread so. Pros. We got all kinds of cool prizes. Pro Speed UK. I mean, we could sit here and just list them all off. All right, well, I'm going to warm my hands on this coffee and get back in my truck. challenge basically the participants need to go through they're counting for backups hitting trees but there's also two bonus lines for anybody who wants to do anything a little bit more extravagant vehicles with 33s or even some of the stock vehicles can get through it just fine but the key part is taking their time and picking their line but because they're judged against other vehicles now they want to go for it so it's all in a driver's strategy on how well they can be on the rocks with Lucky 8 Off-Road. We're at Anthracite Outdoor Adventure Area doing the ARB Tread Pro Challenge. So we got a couple treads lined up behind me here. Nice little approach that you can't really see where you're coming from. You go over the treads and you gotta keep all your wheels on the treads. If you don't keep them on, you're getting seconds added to your time at a loop. Every one of the challenges in the park today, some of them were very far to get to, so kudos to you for your time management and getting them all done. You also scored extremely well. Some of you guys over here are Defender veterans. It's easy walk in the park. We've got a guy that has been driving an LR3 for a few hours, so that does say something for the technology <laughs> of the newer vehicles. Oh, the and this gentleman has an L322 that he's modified quite heavily. 
the competition tonight is special because you're not allowed to be out here at night at all. So we've got a course set up. Those, that set of cones. There is a hidden log there. You're going to go over. You're going to aim for those headlights you see in a brush. I am here with Simone, Greg Bossart, Charles Galpin, Jason Lavender, Kelsey. Sir. You placed number one with a negative 12 seconds in an LR3 you've owned for. Oh, I've owned it for a year and a half. First time wheeling it, bone stock. Out there is the unknown. 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 There is logs, rocks, ruts, bumps, and jumps. This truck has really come together. Tires are on, makes it look like a proper Land Rover. Yep. With it up in the air, maybe we should change the oil. Yep. Uncle John Fitch from Allmate gave me this oil filter. Did you really? What do you Your father's a buffoon. <laughs> well, we're getting, I'm getting kicked. Uh, the brake line came out of the uh, reservoir. The end of the brake line got chewed up, so I can't get it restarted. I can't get a tap on the end of it, so we're gonna have to cut the brake line and get our butts kicked. Well, maybe if you didn't poke it, we wouldn't be in this situation. So next time, when you see a bear, don't poke it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Project 69. We're going to put a new end on the brake line. Young Corbin's gonna learn how to cut the brake line, flare the brake, but, but, flare the brake line, and we're gonna put this truck back together. You ready? Yeah. Shouldn't take you long. Probably is gonna take me a while. It won't take you but a minute. Let's get to work. are fixed the reservoir is in yep uh, i'm feeling really good how about you i feel fine we're good maybe next year maybe next year after that uh, all right man send me pictures I'll i will thanks you got it.
Where did you go? Don't you know bringing cores out of Texarkana, Texas is bootlegging? Better drink it quick. Look at this mess. Awesome. I am looking forward to this beer, even though you're an official bootlegger right now. I, too, am looking forward to this beer. You know how long it takes to fly to Texas? I hate you. I assumed you would have to trailer for this by now. I, didn't I just drove 24 hours. Give me my beer back. Victor, how are you, buddy? Pretty good, man. We are here at Scar in Texas with the Victor Vela from Victor Bill. If you're on any of the Facebook groups, you know him as Victor Vela with 1A or 2. Victor, what are you driving today? Uh, I got my 99 Discovery 2. How long have you owned it for? Uh, about a week and a half. And then you're going to sell it about a week and a half too, right? Yeah, might drop it off on my way home. <laughs> you're always wheeling and dealing, man. Where'd you get all your parts on this thing from? Lucky 8. Fantastic. Thanks for coming, man. It's yep. good meeting Thanks, you. You enjoying your beer? Yep. The trailer's done. Everything's out. I'm hitting the trails. See ya. I'll be here drinking my beer. You should hit me with the splash gun so I cool down. Won't you come on over? We can party till the sun's down. Baby, let me buy you a drink while we're dancing to blink. I could go for some Queen B2. Bass is going boom. Here with Joey Pitts from Paradise, Texas. Little town in Texas. How much is shipping there? Always free. We'll find out.
Welcome to Rovers on the Rocks 5. I'm here with Randy Williams from formerly known as Rover Bones. Randy Williams, now British Boneyard. British Boneyard. So if you need any used parts, get on the internet, give Randy a call. You got noodles and noodles. What do you got, like six trucks? Have a look at that. These guys are warming up for today's events. You've seen the floors. What do you think, Randy? Sets up. It's taking a long time. No pressure, buddy. So uh, I'm gonna just. I'll distract them real quick here with the trophies for the rock challenge. All right, in the 33 inch and above class, Doug, would you please stand up? Boy, really? Really? 
And uh, Doug, you did a hell of a good job. Here's a soft shackle for number two. Good job, well good. done. Good. Thanks to the church, my Sunday uh, lessons. Would you come on up, Jeff? Stand up, please. Shackle, that means you're not that good of a driver. You're gonna get stuck. Oh, and what are you doing? Be on it. <laughs> With great pain, I'd like to announce Jeff Banks. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a speech prepared. He's got older than mine. <laughs> speech! I just want to thank. <laughs> At the beginning of day three, I'm with Simon again. Simon, thank you very much for giving us son. Oh, no trouble, Justin. I had a word with the big guy upstairs. He promises he's going to give us at least one good day. Thank goodness he did too, because just about everything we had yesterday got soaking wet through. And as you can see behind you, we have a pile of gear out trying to dry out in the sun. I think we're going to be okay. It. If we winch it up, if we can control it, it's not going to smash anything. But if he rolls, he's going to slide. He's gonna... Third day, just about lunchtime. We broke the truck, it's pretty bad. We have no power to the rear axle on one of the defenders. So what we're doing now is to try and get out of this hole, we're hooking two vehicles together to pull the third one out. So we have two tow ropes, two tow vehicles, and one pretty much dead vehicle right now. So we have a
Here we are at the end of day three and it has been tough going. Within the first few hundred yards, it's been tough going. As so, the only thing that kept up was really was the weather. So um, deep water crossings, we lost a big PTO winch on the 101. We think we might have it fixed, so let's hope. Let's hope for the best tomorrow, we'll see what happens. hill climb and I bounced all four wheels and the uh, rear end came bouncing down and blew my rear diff and my drive shaft. So now they're repairing the drive shaft and we're hopefully going to have a rear diff at the shop. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the uh, 2011 Easter Expedition. I'm here with Simon Schofield. We are just outside of Parry Sound, Canada for the 2011 Easter Expedition. Well, here we are, just inside, just outside Parry Sound. As you can see already on the ground, we have snow. You didn't bring your long johns for this trip. This year, you're going to get cold. Okay, just in here we are, we've got this, uh, this is the main trail right here. We can see the footprints people have made already. It's just too soggy. We could make it, but we're gonna tear this place up and uh, that's not what we're here for. mad at me for all the bad things I said about it. We're uh, at Wintergreen. It started to thunder and pour, turned this trail into complete mush, and the 130 has slid with the trailer in tow all the way down. I hit that tree right there. Thank God I hit it on the rock sliders. Uh, I'll show you what happened. Of course, it's uh, cameras. You can't tell how steep that is. There is no brakes all the way down, trying to steer, hit the tree, boom. Uh, we're stopping the trail ride. We're trying to turn all the cars around. And then I'm gonna ask for volunteers to see if they can help me get this contraption 
off the trails. Uh, this is a mark against the trailer. If you hear me, trailer, you suck. I can hear the internet telling me I'm a bad driver, and you're right, but you see, that's where I took my foot off the brake. That's where the contraption ended. What I wanna do is get a couple trucks tied to trees here, run some line down to the trailer, start to bring it up. We're gonna run out of line. I'm then gonna tie off to one of these trees that's alive, let the slack of the winch out. Then I can re-grab with another truck or another winch and continue to pull it up. And if we have to, we'll tie off several times and get the project up here where it's flat and going down the correct trail. Okay. Hi, Mark. I'm with Alan. Alan's wonderful wife. We're at the top of the hill. We've hooked up, well, I'll get C6 spinning around. We've hooked up his 110. We got Mark's D2. A cable running down the hill to a snatch block, to Project Trailer, which is connected to Project 130. I'm drenched. Everybody's laughing at me. We're going to give this a go. All right. <laughs> Alan, thank you. Mark, thank you. Natalie, thank you. Bob Steele, thank you. And there's nobody else to thank. We got the Pikey Wagon free. Life is good. Is it beer 30 yet? Hey everybody, Justin with Lucky 8 Off-Road. Hey everybody, Justin with Lucky 8 Off-Road. Hello, Justin with Lucky 8 Off-Road. And hello, Justin from Lucky 8 Off-Road here. And to hey everybody, Justin with Lucky 8 Off-Road. Hello, Justin with Lucky 8 Off-Road here. Hey everybody, Justin with Lucky 8 Off-Road. Hello, Justin with Lucky 8 Off-Road. And hey everybody, Justin with Lucky 8 Off-Road. Hello everybody, Justin with Lucky 8 Off-Road. Hello everyone, Justin with Lucky 8 Off-Road. Hello, Justin with Lucky 8 Off-Road. Hey everybody, Justin with Lucky 8 Off-Road. Hey everybody, Justin from Lucky 8 here to...